Hello, how to solve for a and b in this equation a plus b is equal to 12. a b is equal to 12. a plus b is equal to 12. Let's call this equation 1. a b is equal to 12. Let's call this equation 2. From equation 1, a is equal to 12 minus b. Let's call this equation 3. And from equation 2, AB is equal to 12. Let's divide both sides by B, divided by B, divided by B. This will cancel this. A is equal to 12 divided by b now let's call this equation star let's substitute this equation into our equation one that is a plus b equal to 12 when a is equal to 12 divided by b or you may also use this equation three as well to substitute for a but i'm making use of this then we have 12 divided by b plus b is equal to 12. Let's multiply all through by b. 12 divided by b multiplied by b plus b multiplied by b is equal to 12 multiplied by b. This is this we cancel this we have 12 plus b times b b square is equal to 12 times b 12 b and we have 12 plus b square minus 12 b is equal to zero we can rearrange this that is b square minus 12b plus 12 is equal to 0. This is a quadratic equation which can be solved using quadratic general formula. From quadratic general formula, b is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a and from this equation a is equal to 1 a is equal to 1 b is equal to minus 12 c is equal to 12 then b is equal to minus bracket b is minus 12 plus or minus square root of minus 12 all square minus 4 multiplied by a is 1 multiplied by c is 12 divided by 2 multiplied by a is 1 then from here b is equal to minus times minus 12 that is 12 plus or minus square root of minus 12 square that is 144 minus 4 times 1 times 12 that is 40 minus 48 divided by 2 multiplied by 1 2 here b is equal to 12 plus or minus 144 minus 48 that is square root of 96 divided by 2. Let's see this 96 because we have 96. Then something goes here, 3. Then here, 3 in 9, that is 3. 3 in 6 is 2. Then something goes, we have 2. 2 in 32, that is 16. Then something can still go here, 2. 2 in 16, 8. Then 2. 2 in 8, 
4 here 2 2 in 4 2 2 in 2 1 now let's see 2 times 2 4 times 2 8 8 times 2 16 from here is 16 then and 3 times 2 here is 6 therefore this 96 can be written as 16 multiplied by 6 okay. b is equal to 12 plus or minus square root of 16 multiplied by 6 divided by 2 here b is equal to 12 plus or minus square root of 16 multiplied by square root of 6 divided by 2 b is equal to 12 plus or minus square root of 16 that is 4 multiplied by 6 that is root 6 divided by 2 then this is b is equal to 12 divided by 2 plus or minus 4 divided by 2 root 6 2 here 1 2 here 6 2 here 1 2 here 2 then b is equal to 6 plus or minus 2 root 6 therefore b1 is equal to 6 plus 2 root 6 and b2 is equal to 6 minus 2 root 6 these are the value of b we can solve for a since we've got the values of b using equation 3 from equation 3 equation 3 is look at equation 3 here a is equal to 12 minus b then a equal to 12 minus b now let's see a1 is equal to 12 minus b1 then when b1 is 6 plus 2 root 6 a1 is equal to 12 minus bracket 6 plus 2 root 6 a1 is equal to 12 let's open the bracket minus 6 minus 2 root 6 then a1 is equal to 6 minus 2 root 6 this is the value of a1 now let's solve for a2 a2 is equal to 12 minus b2 now a2 is equal to 12 minus bracket b2 is 6 minus 2 root 6 a2 is equal to 12 minus 6 plus 2 root 6 therefore a2 is equal to 6 plus 2 root 6 this is the value of a2 therefore our final answers are a1 comma b1 is equal to 6 minus 2 root 6 comma 6 plus 2 root 6 then a2 comma b2 is equal to 6 plus 2 root 6 comma 6 minus 2 root 6 we can see that a1 here is b2 here 
then a2 here is b1 here so this are the final answer we can check to confirm if this answer is right or wrong let's check to check we have the given equation a plus b equal to 12 a b equal to 12 now when a1 is 6 minus 2 root 6 and b1 is 6 plus 2 root 6 so we can check using any of these but let's use a1 b1 we may also use a2 b2 then a1 is from here a1 is 6 minus 2 root 6 then plus b1 is 6 plus 2 root 6 then this will cancel this this must be equal to 12 that is 6 plus 6 must be equal to 12 6 plus 6 this is 12 is equal to 12 which is true then let's check using the product here that is a b is equal to 12 then we already know that a1 is 6 minus 2 root 6 multiplied by 6 plus 2 root 6 everything must be equal to 12 now 6 10 6 this is 36 plus 6 times 2 root 6 that is 12 root 6 minus 2 root 6 times 6 that is minus 12 root 6 then minus 2 root 6 multiplied by plus 2 root 6 this will be minus 4 multiplied by 6 then everything must be equal to 12 here we have 36 this will cancel this minus 4 times 6 that is 24 must be equal to 12 let's see now 36 minus 24 this is 12 is equal to 12 which is true i hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe to my channel. Bye.